Liz is not pregnant. Th that's good. But she psychologically thought she was. How does a sane person just imaginate their body to do something like that? Does this mean my wife is crazy or a superhero of some sorts? I don't know. The doctor told me not to think of it in these ways, but I'm not sure how else to feel about all this. <sighs> now, man, what the heck? Yesterday was the weirdest day by far this year. Like, I don't even really know how to still feel about what happened yesterday. The doctor told me not to look at Liz as crazy. But she's either crazy or my wife has superpowers. I will take the shape of a pregnant woman. That's just, that's weird. That's, I don't know how else to put it. It'd be like me thinking I'm a dog and then I start growing whiskers and, you know, really long claws and stuff like that. Like, it's weird. It's weird to know that the human body is capable of things like that. I don't know. Like the doctor said, don't think of her as crazy because, you know, dad, he sees a psychiatrist for his obsessive compulsive disorder. But, I mean, people go to, you know, psychiatrists to, you know, talk to doctors about, you know, seeing dead people. And, you know, the multiple person disorder where you're more than one person. That's, that's some scary stuff. And maybe he was just trying to lighten the blow about Liz's situation. Maybe Liz is a little crazier than he wants to put on. Especially with Liz in the room. Well, no, Liz wasn't in the room that time. Maybe he was just doing it to make me feel good. He didn't want me to, you know, worry. Again, I, I, I love Liz, but I'm worried and I don't see anything wrong with that. I need to grab my books and get to school. I know that much, though. All right, but what I what I need to do and what I want to do is try to treat Liz as completely normal as I can. I don't want this to change the way I treat her because I, I still love Liz. I worry about her because this is definitely something interesting. I don't really understand the full capabilities of this phantom pregnancy. I don't know. I need to stop rambling and I need to just go ahead and get to... School, you, you talk way too much to yourself sometimes, Bert. Like, you really, really might need to get that checked out. Maybe you need to see a psychiatrist. That might be what needs to be done. Hey, bro. How's everything going? Pretty decent, I suppose. I heard you were thinking about trying out for basketball? Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. But I've got a question for you. Why did my fact about pregnancy freak you out yesterday? Is... There's something you aren't telling me. Pregnancy fact? What are you talking about? You said school was almost over and I explained we have nine months to go, which is the amount of time it would take to, you know, have a child. Remember? Oh, oh, um, right. Um, well, the pregnancy fact, um, uh, how do I, look, buddy, I'll explain everything after school, okay? I don't think right now I have the amount of time to talk about it. Uh, till then, you're just gonna have to wait, okay? Is Liz pregnant? Is that what's going on? Shut up, dude. Are you kidding me? Don't be hollering something like that in the house. Mom or dad could get, you know, an ear of that. I'll explain after school. Till then, you're waiting. Okay, fine. Just know I hate you for making me wait. Hey, dude. All good things come to those who wait. Whatever. Just get to school and, and hurry home, okay? I'll come straight home, all right? Will that be good enough for you? G good to hear. I'll, I'll see you out on the pier. All right, I'll meet you there. I'll see you at school or at the pier. Later, bud. All right. Well, I'm going to explain the situation to Austin. Austin's somebody I really feel like I can explain that kind of stuff to. Austin's really good about keeping things to himself, which is good. The only time he ever, you know, doesn't keep it to himself is when he needs something his way. And at the moment, he doesn't need anything his way. And normally, if he does that, I normally beat him up. So, eh, I'll beat him up if he does. I just don't need mom or dad getting whiff of this phantom pregnancy. Because that in itself will let mom and dad know that we have, in fact, you know, 
Well, I have, in fact, lost my virginity. And Mom doesn't care about, you know, Liz's virginity, but she sure as heck probably cares about mine. I don't want Mom passing out because she'd probably be the kind of person that would pass out like, oh, my God, and then just pass out. And that's not good. I don't want Mom being mad at me for being a guy. So i got to be careful with that. Um, Austin's really good. Austin's really good. I think I can trust Austin. I might even tell some of the guys. I'm not sure who all in the group I'll tell. But I think I'm going to talk to one or two of them. I think that's probably best. It's nice to get a few people's opinion on this situation. Because, I mean, phantom pregnancy. Nobody. None of my friends. I had never heard of it. So if I haven't heard of it, none of them heard about you know about it. Because, I, I mean, I watch the Science Channel. And I watch History Channel. And I'd never heard of phantom pregnancy. So this is definitely something interesting, to say the least. Well, let's go ahead and eat breakfast. Always lovely, Mom. And... Guess I can just sit here and wait for Liz to get to school. Uh, all right, Liz. Let's see how everything's going. Maybe her belly has gone down a little bit in size, and hopefully she's not feeling as bad anymore. Won't know until she gets here, I guess. Okay, well, so far today has been pretty decent um i've been able to talk to liz and i feel like i've made you know somewhat of a success of trying to you know treat this situation as normal as i can i i don't know though maybe i've been trying too hard i i think i'm doing well i think liz is you know not noticing too much of a difference in my personality now obviously things are going to be a little different because i mean i just learned something traumatic about her oh jeez. um i guess Liz is at your book? Uh, I would guess so. I, I don't know how she goes without so many meals. I think she would die. <laughs> you and me both. Uh, I eat like a fat person. Thank God I'm not. But um, if, if, um, if she's in your book, I, I, I want y'all to know something. There's, um, there's something I gotta talk to y'all about. Is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. E everything's good now. Uh, I guess... I just want to talk about some things I wasn't really open to you guys about recently. I'll explain the full details at gym, but it has to do with Liz. Bert, you've got to realize you can be open with us. We are your friends. We're always here to help you. I know y'all are. I know y'all are. But, well, in a relationship, some things tend to be kept a secret. Especially secretive type things. Well, well, what is it? Did you and Liz get divorced or did y'all adopt a kid? Those are my two guesses as of now. Neither of those, Carson. Look, um... Boy, um, it... It has to do with pregnancy. That, that's all I want to say right now, okay? I, I don't want anyone to overhear us talking about all this. Pregnancy? Oh my gosh, dude! You can't just leave us hanging on something like that. Just, what the heck is going on? Okay, okay. Well, like I said, it has to do with pregnancy. But but Liz isn't pregnant, guys, okay? Liz isn't pregnant. Just keep that in mind. Well, that's good to know. Is everything okay, though? Yeah. Yeah, everything and everyone is okay. Well, except for one person. Mentally. But, like I said, we can talk about that at gym, okay? I I'm even sorry I brought it up. It's just something I've really been wanting to talk about. I was going to tell y'all, but then I realized there's way too many people, you know, over listening and could get wind of our conversation and that could be bad not only for me, but for Liz. We can't wait, but it better be a juicy story, especially if you are making all of us wait till gym. Well, I'm not trying to give you a juicy drama story. I, I just want y'all's thoughts on a specific situation I'm going through at the moment. Well, as friends, we are here to give our opinions, especially if you ask for them, even sometimes when you don't even ask for them, but I just hope they help in some way. They, they will. I just want y'all to be honest about what I ask y'all. Don't let your friendship with me and Liz get in the way, okay? We'll try not to. I wish you could just tell us now. Believe me, I want to. But, well, 
I still have a few enemies who could use like this against me and Liz. I'd rather wait till we are in private. I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. I am sorry, guys. You know, I really am. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, as always, guys, this info I'm going to talk to you guys about is super secret, so hush hush. Understood, buddy. Your secrets are safe with us. Heck, you know things about us you could use against us if we ever ratted on you. Well, yeah, I guess good point, but I'd rather not do that. Let's just keep the secrets, well, secret. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to go grab lunch and I'll come right back and then we can talk. Uh, later, guys. Well, I say later, but you know what I mean. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I've kind of gotten a little bit of this off my chest. I wanted to talk to Austin, but it's nice that I'm going to talk to a few of my friends. I know I said I was only going to talk to like one or two of them, but I trust them all. I trust them all, so everything should be fine. And I'll even talk to Austin, and then I'll be able to get quite a big load off my chest, which will be really helpful mentally for me. Because I need to know what they think, you know, Liz is going through mentally. I want to know their viewpoint on it. Well, then when we got to the hospital, the doctor checked her with one of their pregnancy tests, and well, it, it came back negative. So he ran an ultrasound, and well, th there was nothing there. What in the heck? What, is this some sort of episode of the Twilight Zone? So what's going on? Is she pregnant with an alien or something? Not, not quite. Um, she's suffering from something called phantom pregnancy. Oh my gosh, so is she pregnant with a ghost? No, Carson, not, not a ghost. She was pregnant with nothing. Her, her mind had basically played a trick on her. It's, um, it's a rare psychological issue that women and even some men suffer from. Okay, that's a little freaky. So is Liz like crazy or something? That sounds to me like something a crazy person would suffer from. I, I thought so too, but the doctor said it happens. It's rare, but but it happens. I mentioned at lunch that you know everybody's all right mentally, not one person. So that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about this. How rare exactly? I believe it was twenty-two thousand to one. Look, guys, everything is fine. She, she isn't crazy. Um, now, she is going to see a psychiatrist, which, you know, doesn't mean she's crazy. The doctor just wants to know what is causing Liz's issue. Yeah, what exactly causes this to happen? The doctor said it was from wanting to be pregnant, having a fear of being pregnant, or a traumatic instance in, you know, Liz's life that had to do with pregnancy. He thinks it's the last one. So she has seen the psycho doctor to figure out what happened to her? It's a psychiatrist, Carson. Not a psycho doctor. And, yes. Well, I wish her the best between the psychiatrist and her. My mom sees one, and she's perfectly healthy. Exactly, exactly. My dad sees one. So there's no reason to think Liz is crazy. I don't know, Bird. It is a little freaky to have that kind of mind where you can trick your body into thinking it's pregnant. That's just a bit freaky in my opinion. Well, she, she's fine now. Her stomach is shrunk and now we just want to find out what caused all this. Look guys, just try to treat Liz the same. Don't let her know that you guys basically know what happened. And don't let you know this change your view of her. I gotta go, guys, and I really do appreciate all of your opinions. Even, you know, the left ones and the right ones. So, thanks, guys. I'll see you guys later. I'll text you and, yeah, I'll text you tonight. Okay, well, most people were somewhat understanding of the situation. Have a good day, Coach. And that's good, but it seems like they kind of fall into the same type of category that... I found myself in where it makes me think that she may not be fully mentally stable and that worries me I just I can't believe if we wouldn't have gone to the doctor because I, I looked up these phantom pregnancies if we wouldn't have gone to the doctor she would have continued 
to grow. She could have gotten up to nine months pregnant looking. Like that's how crazy these phantom pregnancies can get. They can even have contractions. So literally they are pushing a baby out that isn't even there. The whole body believes it is pregnant. And that is so freaking weird. It's interesting, but it's so weird. And it makes me worry for Liz's health mentally. I think she's somewhat healthy. She's probably healthier than me. She seems to eat better than I do. But I don't know. They say that when you're married, you have to love that person in sickness and in health, and I'll make sure I do so. I want to show her that, you know, I love her unconditionally, because I do. I do love her unconditionally. I just, I worry for her. But I don't want that worry to come off as rude or brash or mean. Oh, God, Austin's already here. That's impressive. I'm actually quite impressed he's already there. All right, let's go over there and see what he wants to talk about. Oh, wait, I know what he wants to talk about. That's the only reason he's here so quickly. <laughs> All right, so what's going on? Does this have to do with Liz? Yes, Austin, it is about Liz. Then I knew it. She is pregnant. Not the best move there, bro. I mean, you guys are still in high school. How are you going to pay for all that? She is not pregnant, Austin. Oh, but you said this was about Liz. I thought she was actually pregnant. She looked like she had gotten a bit of a gut as well. Well, I'm sure she would appreciate that, but if you will give me a minute to explain, then I will explain. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Okay, me and Liz thought she was pregnant. We thought she was two months pregnant, to be exact. Holy crap. Two months? Why did you think that? Well, she was showing all the signs of pregnancy. Uh, a lack of a period. Uh, a growing stomach, as you obviously just mentioned. And she was even suffering from morning sickness. All that? Dude, I think you guys may be wrong. I think she may be pregnant. Well, don't worry. She, she isn't. After two pregnancy tests that said negative, we definitely got worried, and I took her to the hospital to make sure everything was all right medically. Oh, man. Is she okay? What's wrong? Yeah. Do they know? Yeah, they, they knew what was wrong. It's something called phantom pregnancy. It's where her body believed it was pregnant, so it decided to show all the signs and symptoms of a pregnancy. Minus a baby. What the hell? That's freaky. What causes all that? Doctor said it's basically psychological. Psychological? Like in a psycho? Like a psychopath? Yes, Austin. Doctor said not to worry, though. He just wants Liz to see a psychiatrist. He thinks something traumatic happened in Liz's life to create this issue that occurred between me and her. I don't know, dude. Sounds to me like Liz may be a nutcase. And to think I said someone would have to be crazy to want to date you. Oh, the irony. Shut up, Austin. This is serious. Don't make stupid jokes like that. That's my wife you're talking about. Your crazy wife. You want to say that again, little buddy? A little louder this time? Look, bro, this just sounds freaky. You have to agree with that. I don't know all the details, and after she sees the psychiatrist and informs you of what's going on, I guess just let me know. I'm sorry I insulted you and your wife. Well, you didn't only insult Liz. You insulted Dad. He sees a psychiatrist, too, if you didn't know. Really? I didn't know that. Well, you go ahead and think about that before you go and judge someone. I'm going to go to the cafe and get something to eat. But seriously, think about what you just did. Oh, what a turd. That worries me. I don't like knowing that someone else kind of feels the same way I do, especially Austin. I thought he'd have the more sane outlook on this whole situation. Ah, oh, jeez. What if Liz is crazy? I'm trying my best to be a good person and not, you know, be rude. The doctor told me to be nice and understanding. I don't know if I can be.